Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to take a quick slow motion look at some atomizer spray bottles. The WD-40 can has a simple pressure atomizer which uses compressed gas inside the can to force oil and propellant through a small orifice. The large difference in velocity between the stream of oil and the air around it allows the oil to be blown apart within millimeters of leaving the nozzle. Then the surface tension of the oil quickly pulls the droplets into spheres. The isopropanol spray bottle uses a hand-pumped annular atomizer. It produces a cone-shaped spray by passing liquid through veins or ports that cause it to swirl around before exiting the nozzle. As the swirling liquid exits the orifice, it is thrown outwards as well as forwards, making a hollow cone. Like the WD-40, the isopropanol is quickly blown apart into small droplets after leaving the nozzle. The cooking oil can uses a compressed gas that does not escape along with the oil to propel two streams that are connected by a thin film. As the speed of the oil increases, the two streams of oil diverge and the sheet begins to undulate as it experiences Kelvin-Helmholtz instability. As the amplitude of the undulations increase, the sheet undergoes primary breakup, leaving free-flying ligaments. These ligaments then experience plateau Rayleigh instability, which breaks the ligaments into individual droplets. Viewed from the top, we can see that most of the droplets continue to move in a straight line away from the nozzle, despite the sideways motion of the undulations. In addition to the isopropanol, I also ran soapy water through the hand pump spray bottle for its ability to form thin films. With the soapy water, the cone shape of the spray becomes much more visible as a continuous annular sheet that is formed just outside the nozzle. It is also much more apparent that the annular atomizer is just a radial symmetric version of the flat sheet, as the liquid undergoes both a primary and secondary breakup. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.